everyone, it's Irene, and I have a project I'd like to share with you today. Uh, before I show you what I've done, this is a paper pad I used, and it came from Walmart, and I have quite a few of these pads. Really sweet, summer-like, bright and cheerful colors, pretty patterns, really super pretty. It's about $5 at Walmart, and I like to use these pads because the paper is nice and thin, and it's single-sided, really pretty. And I also made this book with Elmer's glue, and I just want to show you how much I believe in this glue. I buy it by the jug, and I just transfer a little bit into this squeeze bottle. And I like doing that because it's really easy to squeeze these bottles, easy on the hands, especially when you're doing production line gluing. Um, it's really fun to use this bottle, and your hands don't get that tired. So just for the people asking what kind of glue I use, I use Elmer's glue. So this is a altered book, junk journal. And as you see, my papers are all straight. I mean, there's some wavy line to it, but not much. I gutted it, used duct tape on the spine here, really pretty. And this came from Staples, has a little silver glitter to it that does not come off. But it went well, I think, with the cover. Um, the cover is a card that I repurposed and I used the gold corners here. This piece here was not gold, it was brass, so I just took my paint pen and colored that up. Same with the Tim Holtz little notch there. Used a hairband as my closure and did a little grommet there. The back is simple, really pretty, I think. So let's get in. Let's see if I can show you this. And at one point, I'm sure I'm gonna to have to use two hands super pretty so here we are and all the pages have been sewn in and there's text spots throughout and i have quite a few of these pads these came from michael's and i think they were from 2011 2010 i sewed it on top i flipped it there's several pages here so whoever gets this book has quite a few pages to write on and also this is a little secret pocket tuck spot and that's also sewn in and you can just tuck in right there really pretty so hopefully this is showing up so here's another tuck spot all sewn in there's a little pad a little secret pocket I punched out little things out and then re-glue them on top there And on here are these pockets. Well, this is gonna be a tough thing, isn't it? I'm gonna use this pillow that Johnny Tabasco 14 made me a couple years ago. Hi, Johnny. She made, and this beautiful. Tabasco 14 is her channel, and she made me that beautiful pillow. So hopefully this will help me. But um, here's a text spot here. This has been sewn in. There's a pocket here that's been sewn in, and some journaling cards. I coordinate with the page here and the book is pretty much the same throughout pad on the right pocket on the left or tuck spot pocket underneath sewn in pages I love doing that and then from here on out there's a tuck spot here as it comes out here it's a large index card plain and simple I put a little uh, button there on top of the Stampin' Up punch Tab, and this just goes right in. And I kept it really simple, really pretty, so whoever gets it can decorate it more if they wish or leave it clean and simple as it is. But like I said, all the pages have been sewn in. Tuck spot, pocket. I'll just do a quiet flip through. Really fun to put together these books. I 
find that the younger generation now is using them. And so, try to make it a little bit more their flavor. pretty really easy to make there's a acetate pocket it's also been sewn in and glued on cute little pockets here Isn't it pretty? Cheerful colors, ready for springtime. I'm definitely done with the rain. We've had a lot of rain, haven't we? stamped out. There's a pocket. There's a closure. Comes together really quickly. Really pretty. Elmer's glue. A little patience. A labor of love for sure, but the end result is fantastic. So thank you so much everyone for stopping by and viewing this journal with me. Hope everyone's having a great day and take good care. Bye-bye.